Okay, guys, Hut Rush has been completed, and what do we get out of it? What does Hut Rush offer for everyone? Let's go take a look. See, now this time I played on Superstar because it was mentioned to me, you know, play on Superstar, it ends quicker. And I just wanted to complete it on Superstar to give you guys a timeline. Now, I did it in about an hour and 25 minutes on Superstar when I can do it in about two hours on Rookie. So if you can do it on Superstar, it will save you about 40 minutes. If you can't do it on Superstar, just do it on Rookie. Do it easy. Get it done. And uh, don't stress yourself out over it. It's 40 minutes, right? If you're going to go on Superstar and you can't average 70, 75,000, 80,000 points a game, then you're not going to get it done any sooner than just doing it on Rookie and making sure you finish the objectives. So yes, Superstar saves you time, but Rookie's just so much easier. That's, that's, that's my two cents on it. I did it on Rookie. Did it on Superstar. What's 40 minutes worth to you, right? on the stress level so let's check out what we got we know it all goes towards the captain collectibles so like for team of the year like i talked about in the sunday saver video if you haven't checked that out go check that out if you are new here and you don't want to miss anything in the future if you are enjoying the content hit that sub button notification bell down below so you don't but let's get into it guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to throw a comment in with what you thought of the video hot rush is it worth it i mean the best thing to say is it's an hour and 20 to two hours worth of work for 21 massive packs i'm just gonna go through i'm gonna get rid of all the um the collectibles that we don't really need to concern ourselves with but i'm gonna show them you got three bronze you got two xp you got one captain another captain another captain more bronze and then another captain and then yet another captain so i'm gonna go get rid of these and then we'll start open packs now when i get all these bronze collectibles what do i recommend doing with them well these this is the one instance bronze and live moments where i say just throw them in the diamond sets because the packs they offer you in bronze aren't worth it so just you know get yourself some diamonds and slowly work yourself through these hut rush and and live moments to just get yourself some diamond collectibles and get some big packs out of there so that's what i do with them guys just keep piling them up until i can turn them in as you see here so far i got myself three can i get a fourth nah i'm gonna fall short on the fourth but there's three in there for when i do next week's hot rush three diamond collectibles and now i can go look but i don't think three diamond collectibles has any value just yet not when i can save it up for a little bit more four gets me a mega pack and an nhl player pack or a premium player pack or an 82 plus pack even a player pack at this point the best thing i could do is save up for a jumbo elite pack because i don't want an 84 hall an 86 Ty Domi, or an 87 patrick kane because it's 16 diamond collectibles that's a lot of diamond collectibles so at this point i'm just saving up the jumbo elite pack with six that's what i do with my hut rush bronze collectibles so right before we get into our hut rush packs we have two event packs right from both accounts they have moved up from bronze to silver which gives us five items and a better chance of pulling gold five cards which is nice and uh, let's see if we can get lucky and pull a gold which we did that's that's always a bonus because those can go towards gretzky lemieux or how and then also save your customizations and your team items like masks and stuff like that jersey numbers everything you get jerseys coaches save it all because we don't know what xps are going to be worth we got a new set tomorrow so don't just throw this stuff away okay, and then the advent calendar for the second account this is my main account so let's see if we can get anything cool over here and a big power of collectibles or something i've heard people say they've gotten there's a jersey ty nash Kale morris bronze jersey can bronze jerseys be the next XP set? Who knows? Maybe. Hopefully we can wait and find out. And what does the advent calendar have in store for us? Stay tuned for that, guys. But let's go get into our hot rush packs and see what we got. Now, what I'm going to talk about while we open these is what you can expect out of hot rush. And it's fodder, really. It's just fodder. And what I mean by that, it's just a ton of collectibles. It's just a ton of cards, low-end cards, that get you more stuff like I can turn this in for packs if i want but i strongly suggest hanging on to them for the xp sets and it's just stuff right it's just stuff that you can turn into more stuff or collectibles to better your team but what it also is is it's also a massive hail mary and what i mean by a massive hail mary is 99.9 percent .9 of the time your hut rush run is going to yield you absolutely nothing but there is that 0.01 percent chance when you rip a pack like this you look and you go oh my god i got an 85 now i did get two two coins here 750 and 500 so that's not terrible it's actually pretty good 
but that's just getting it's just getting stuff right at, at the point of a hail mary it's like if i can get out of my hot rush an 84 or higher or even an 85 or higher that's when you hit big because you're just hoping that you can get something that is of value to your team or something that is of value to team of the year when it drops here in like a month right team of the year is not far away it's something we all got to keep in the back of our mind and this kind of pack fodder here helps that if you 82 right 82 isn't huge for team of the year but it's better than just getting a 79 so that that's like a that's like a, a five yard throw right there that 82 and you're happy but it doesn't get you the first down a yes 84 that's a lot of football analogies for uh <laughs> for a hockey video anyway so we're gonna we're gonna just keep going here and hopefully 80s and hey all nhl players which is good for team builders because i don't know about you guys but i'm still working on leclerc and shanahan so i need nhl team builders to help me out nhl players to help me out with team builders and there's another one there but again just a bunch of gold players now these two packs is where the hail mary could hit throughout the gold players it's not really gonna hit there but right here could it hit right here as we open through we get 81s 80s some jerseys and more 81s so we got a lot of fodder a lot of nhl players but it didn't hit now we get 10 gold nhl players here with the chances of a good pull so do we get a good pull here we get an 80 79 81 79 77 79 no we oh my god we did get a beauty pull out of this pack what could it be the hail mary has hit for hot rush maybe maybe and the reason i say maybe is because well either way this is a thirty thousand plus card did the hail mary hit nick nick lindstrom not terrible i don't have him and i'm still working on mario lemieux so that helps i have three cards now that i need out of a bajillion for mario lemieux and in doing those bronze collectibles it just helped towards sets so there's another perk 1250 coins for putting those bronze collectibles in sets so there you go guys that is what you can kind of expect out of your efforts from hot rush i would not expect an icon player that was a huge win the hail mary landed we're happy we're excited for it and not only was it an icon player but it's one i haven't built yet for lemieux so that's even better right so that saves me 40 gold players that helps man every little bit helps thank you guys for watching the video i hope if you go out there and crush hot rush you get your hail mary catch whatever it may be 85 purple icon x factor whatever it may be i hope you get it thank you guys for watching till next time ciao ciao and later on today guys just giving you a sneak peek of what i'm gonna be dropping i got a gameplay video it's gonna be a rivals gameplay video it is burst so it won't be that long it won't be that bad but if you do want to catch my gameplay video on rivals come check it out later i will drop it tonight on youtube Let's have a good time.